Hey everyone, welcome back to Sudotalk. If you're anything like me, your mouse has two extra buttons for going back and forth in a web browser, which you never use. Recently, I found a really cool piece of software to take care of this and use those buttons for other uses, so I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Go ahead to Google, or whatever search engine you prefer to use, which hopefully is Google, and just search Mouse Manager, which is the name of the program. As you can see, it shows up as the first listing. There is an advanced version that costs a little bit more money, but the free version works just fine for me and has a lot of features. You can go ahead and click this Download Now link, and it'll install the setup, go and run through the setup, but I already have it installed, so I'm just going to skip to showing you guys how to use it. Because it's not a very common piece of software, it may put up some red flags with your antivirus software, which happened to me, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing fishy about it, so you should be just fine. Once it's installed, it'll show down here in your dock as this little mouse icon. You can just double click it to open it up, and right here you can see you have this profiles, about, and the settings. For the settings, you're going to want to enable Mouse Manager and make sure starting with Windows is on. You can of course uncheck this, but this will make it so that all your shortcuts work whenever you start up your computer, which is nice. The About tab doesn't really have anything, so we're going to skip to the Profile tab, which has most of the things of this software. It's fairly simple, you can just set two extra buttons for your forward and back keys. The extra button one is the one towards the forward of your mouse, and the extra button two is the back one. As you can see, I currently have two profiles set up, and you can easily just set them to different keys, such as Control, Caps Lock, you know, anything you want, and you can actually set a couple at the same time. To get rid of it, just do X, and it'll get rid of it and disable it. For me, I have these two profiles, one of which is Alt and Shift, and the other which is W and Escape. This is the one that I use for kind of doing things, especially in Premiere and 3D software such as Maya, and then this one is more for playing games and applications that do use that. Alt and Shift are generally used as key combinations to get to secondary functions in things like Premiere. For example, if you do Alt and then you do your scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out of the timeline on Premiere, which I use all the time. It makes it so that it's easier just to press that button on your mouse while you're using the scroll instead of pressing Alt on your keyboard. It also leaves your keyboard hand open for other things like C, V, and X, which I use for editing. W, of course, in games, which you can select right now, just makes you go forward. So if you're feeling lazy and you just want to go forward, and then of course escape doesn't work quite as nicely as it does with some games as others, but it generally gets you out of the menu so it can still save you time then. But that's about all I have for this episode. I just thought it was a very helpful piece of software and thought you guys might want to see it. So hopefully you find some use for it. Either way, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.